All right, Mike, so she wants to hang a vacuum here is what I understand and have an outlet here. I know the wires in the wall was for an ironing board. I don't know how low it was because at one time, I think they somebody cut it out, cut it out and pulled the wire out and then we had to push it back in, patch the drywall. Do you remember any of that? Nope. I remember, I remember an ironing board. Yeah, and it's in that panel, I think. Not this one. Hey, your breakers work, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you do? Did you find it? Did you pop? What, what happened? Well, I had... Uh, what happened, man? No, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so the uh, outlet in the living room, the one on the floor? The floor outlet. Yeah. yeah. I had... She's got her, lap, her laptop hooked up to it, and I even had a um, surge protector plugged into that outlet, and I knocked over a drain. Oh. And it hit that surge protector, and apparently the surge protector either wasn't working or it worked, but it... Uh, not broke the plate. But Tripped it out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, here too. Well, these are ground fault breakers. They're ground fault and arc fault. So, I guess if she's hanging this up high, it would be okay to put the outlet higher? I don't know. I'm just scared to cut the box in here and the wire don't reach. I don't know what she wants. I hate when she does this to me. Hey, by the way, heat's coming over. Can you just handle it? I know that you know nothing about what I want. I see nothing. I know nothing. And that's it. There's a stud. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember too. Get rich off of it or make money or anything. But well, it's been kind of fun. <clears throat> How many times do I have to watch a YouTube video to figure out what I'm doing? So, there we go. I mean, well, you know, there's that. So we found the height. Well, we took a look. I'll put it in the video where there was the video from when we wired the house. There's a wire that comes down the wall, looks like, like this, probably about this high, and loops around like that. Switched on the same as that, that, that. So when I cut this hole down here, it's going to be aggravating to get to you. I might get you to go get me one of the, that rod that's got the hook on it, that green glow rod. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what we can do. But first, we found the stud with our magnet. I don't know if y'all, uh, it's like the best tool for locating studs. You just find nails just like that. Oh, you can't see, can you? Either. Better than any other stud finder. Of course, it made a little mark on the wall. That's, that's right, it's fine, it's great. This four foot at the top of our box, we cut a hole in, find the stud. That's how we roll, make a nice straight line to go on. Let me have that box right there, please, sir. Yep. Nice straight line. We're gonna leave the line in most of the case here so that our box is good and tight. Jagger, do me a favor. Go out there and get that um, fish rod with the hook on it. Open up the passenger side flip up and look all the way to the front. That plastic band, just pick it up and move it out of the way. And there's a Milwaukee vacuum under there. Grab that for me. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's amazing. Three out of four. That's fantastic. 
There's a nail right there. I thought I had to stick my hand in there aggressively. That would have been not cool. All right. Hopefully, I don't have too much wire trouble getting this wire out of here. Oh, I know it's in there. Can't get my arm up the wall. Man, the framer missed the studs more than he hit them. Jeez. I'm reaching up beside this stud and I'm just feeling nails and nails and nails and nails. Oh, we don't need that. I don't know where the side of the wire is going to be on. What was insulation? It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. It'll be fun to find. Oh, 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 I got my hand on it. Jagger's getting that thing on. He's going to need it. Strong hand. Oh. I better use my strong hand. Oh man. Strong hand. Yeah, I got one hand that's been like really bothering me lately. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, man. Will you look at that? <laughs> Just look at it, will you? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, would you look at <laughs> this? Yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, there's a few. Just look at it, will ya? Ta-da! I mean, I mean, I don't want to brag or nothing. Impressive. <laughs> you know, I think about you, Mike, about once a week or so when I walk out in my garage and see all the TVs sitting there. And <laughs> that project that I started piled up on my table saw that I need to get back on to. Like that guy's probably like this joker. I'm not gonna need that after all. Look, I got the nice. I found it. Thank you, Jagger. <laughs> now, if I didn't have that rod, I would have never found it. Exactly. That's how it works. Yes, indeed. Yes, a shirt shirt says no. Powers on it. Let's see. That's the one. It's labeled correctly with that nice, impressive label, like a real electrician did your job. Let me, let me. Guys, this is what labels are supposed to look like when you when you wire a house. You label it neatly so that the homeowner can read it, and so that it makes sense what it says. I'm gonna bleed some of the stuff. This is true. Some of the stuff that we see, man. We saw one the other day. I put it in a video. It was Spanish and it said ground in garage, but it was in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. And it was written poorly with a Sharpie. Mm -hmm. And I posted it. I thought it was a guy's name. I'm like, George, what the heck? I don't, you know. One of my, one of my buddies texted me. He goes, dude, that says whatever it was in Spanish. It means ground in garage. <laughs> they have labeled in the panel where the grounding can. I'm like, okay. Dude, write in English or, you know, we're in America. <laughs> or at least, like, make it legible in your own language. <laughs> So somebody told us what it meant, and I was glad. Of course, I said, if you know what this means, put it down in the comments. And he didn't put it in the comments. He texted me. I'm like, why don't you put it in the comment, man? So everybody will know. Jeez. Jeez, Steven. Steven, you know who you are? He watches all my videos, though, so. Huh? He says he likes this all the time. I am. I am like this all the time, mostly. What you see is what you get, man. This is kind of how I am. <clears throat> all right. Did we use all the uh, screws over there? Scott Owens house? Trevor. Probably. I mean, if I didn't have so much trash in this bag, it's not going to be a little easier. I keep throwing trash in here. 
all day. And I'll empty them out. <clears throat> if I had a light where I could see. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, jeez, dude. What the? What in the? Dog! What the French toast? Screws. I'll go get some of the truck. Because, you know, clearly I'll. Alright. Yeah, she has been fully consumed with her time over there in Hawkinsville. Yeah, they're building houses over there or something, aren't they? Yeah. I think I saw something on FaceSpace or something the other day. They got four of them going right now. Yeah. Oh. Well. Let's say we dodged a bullet over there. Who's, who's doing them, do you know? Well, uh, Tracy. I don't know his last name now. Tracy something. Just the framer. Tracy Holmes? He might be Black guy? Black guy. Yeah. yeah. I like Tracy. Yeah. Yeah, here's the here's the guy doing their electrical work. Here's Tracy. Is Tracy using a gun? I don't know who they got doing their electrical. I've just never met. Yeah. Well, I can't say nothing about that. I'll have to edit this video for sure. He does a lot of houses. I know. We end up at them eventually. They're not big on buying breakers, but they will. They'll pull like three home, they'll pull like all the appropriate home runs and split their circuits up right. But then when they go back and put all the breakers in, they'll put like three home runs on a breaker. So I get a service call, hey, my room's tripped, and I'll get over there and find out, yeah, it's the downstairs bedroom, bathroom, hallway, upstairs bedroom, bathroom, hallway, all on a 15 amp breaker. And they pulled two circuits into the panel, but then they tied them both together with a wire nut and put them on one breaker. Saving money, I guess, at $60 a breaker, you know. We could save, you know, three of those in a panel, that's 180 bucks. How about you just charge $180 more and do it right? There's an idea. All right. That's pretty novel. <laughs> did you just say that out loud? I did. I did. <laughs> Might as well. I was thinking it. Might as well say it out loud. Might as well say it. <clears throat> so here's a cool thing. Cool trick. So for quite a few years, I have been using this quarter inch water line for ice makers quarter inch od outside diameter tubing comes on 25 foot roll for like four dollars super cheap to shim our receptacles you can see there's a space between the wall and the box if you'll cut a piece of this a little bit long it works perfect to slide over the screw and make your outlet tight to the screw. There's a lot of companies that commercially make stuff like this, or they have been in the last. There's these green or fluorescent yellow spacers that are rectangular shaped with a screw hole in them. And Racketeers has just started making something. I think it's like purple and finned. But I've been using this since like, I don't know, 2000, 20, 24 years now. It's super cheap, it's very effective. You can cut it a little bit long and it's the right density and thickness that it, um, <clears throat> well, you gotta put it in the hole, idiot. That it squishes down so it's tight right there. And you can see how much is left to go, but it'll actually compress. And then once you get that in there, it's completely tight to the box. There's no wiggling that around. I know a lot of y'all know you get some outlets in a house and 
it didn't used to be this way back in the day. I guess maybe the steel strap was a little stronger steel, drywall was a little better. But after you plug it in four or five times, it bends these ears or pushes in the drywall a little bit and it becomes wobbly. This thing right here, you can plug in a gazillion times and it's not, it's not wobbling. Now to go side to side, it flexes, but there's no, it's gonna be as tight as the box is in the wall from now on. That's your free tech tip, tip of the day. I've like showed 195, 374 guys that trick over the last 24 years that have worked for me. It was a requirement. If you work here, that's how you put outlets in. If you don't put them in like that, and I come behind you and we'll fire you. And uh, then I go behind these guys later when they work for somebody else and they don't do it. Why would you not do that? It was super cheap and didn't take any more time. And it's way more better and way more effective. Let's see if this works now. So da let's check the ground fault function. Yep, it's working. Just like brand new.